A small circuit uh, with which you can change a square wave from a certain frequency into a sine wave. Uh, this is the oscillator part. It's a square wave oscillator, C2 and C1 set the frequency. And here at the output from the square wave oscillator there is a filter. In this case, on this frequency, it consists of uh, these elements. And when you look with your oscilloscope on the different parts in the filter, you can see how the waveform changes. And I'm going to demonstrate it now. This is the, the oscillator made with a logic chip, 7400 chip. Very simple to make, you only need two resistors and two capacitors. Problem, however, that it doesn't always start, but that's another problem. Um, and at the output from this chip, we have this filter. You see the three capacitors and the three resistors, and you see the black probe from the scope connected to the output from the oscillator. And this is the waveform at the first point directly at the output from the oscillator. Put down the camera for a while. And now I connect my scope to the second point from the filter. And that's this, this point here. And now we see this. This is the effect from the first stage of the filter. And now we go to the second stage from the filter. And there the wave gets a more sine wave-like shape. I have to put up the um, amplification from the scope because the signal weakens severely when it gets to the filter. And now we go to the end stage from the filter. And when it's good, we see there the good sine wave. This is a quite good sine wave, I think. I tested it yesterday and it was approximately uh, 31 kilohertz. You have to adapt the filter to the frequency where you want to use it, of course. Because the whole trick doesn't work when the uh, elements from the filter are not chosen properly. I don't have a calculation for this, but perhaps it, you can find it somewhere. And of course you can also do a lot experimental. I change for instance um, here capacitors from uh, sorry, here the capacitors to a lower frequency, so a higher value, and I saw the uh, an identical wave completely through the filter. So it did not change. So I was somewhat lucky, but I think the principles are very good uh, to use when you want to make a sine wave with the help of a square wave. And as we all know, a square wave is much easier to make than a sine wave.